Hey guys, my name's Plev, and in this DCS C130J tutorial, we'll be covering basic navigation. Begin by placing your nav radar on your left HDD. Place your digital map to HDD2. In order to move your cursor on the digital map, come to your cursor control panel, set your cursor display switch to number 2. Also ensure that cursor priority is set to P for the pilot. Using cursor move down, left, right, and up, you can slew the cursor around the moving map. On the cursor control panel, if we press the cursor reset switch, we can offset the cursor ahead of the aircraft again. Using the display range rocker, we can increase or decrease the range of the display. Using the display zoom rocker, we can increase or decrease the zoom relative to the cursor location. Pressing cursor insert slash update will save whatever coordinates your cursor is hovering over to your scratch pad. We'll come back to that a little bit later. To create a new waypoint, go to index, press next page, and go to custom data. Type in your desired waypoint name on the scratch pad. Press LSKL1. Using this panel, we can enter either longitude and latitude or MGRS coordinates. Coordinates can be acquired by pressing left alt and clicking on the map, or we can save the cursor coordinates to the scratch pad with cursor insert slash update. Let's go ahead and press cursor insert. As you can see, the coordinates have been scratched into the scratch pad. Let's insert the coordinates from the scratch pad by pressing position. You can use elevation to enter the elevation of your waypoint. In order for our new waypoint to show up on our map, we have to add it to our active leg. Let's click legs. In order to add this waypoint to the leg, type it in, in this case test, and click where you'd like to place it, just like in the Apache. In this case, we would be going to waypoint 2, then to waypoint test. Coming back to index, then coming back over to next page, then pressing custom data. Let's type three for our third waypoint. Let's move our cursor elsewhere and save the data to the scratch pad. With the data in our scratch pad, let's click position. Let's go back to the legs page. Type the name of your third waypoint, in this case three, and click where you'd like to place it. Your current plan will show up on the map in white, while your new plan will show up in teal. To fly your teal flight route, press execute, and it should change to white to show it as active. From the legs page, let's go edit our route options. The non-bank angle option will determine what bank angle the autopilot uses to follow the route. Waypoint sequence will determine whether or not your waypoints auto step. The waypoint trans option will determine whether or not you turn before, after, or simply between waypoints point to point. You can erase waypoints from the route with the erase button. By going direct intercept to a waypoint, in this case three, it'll remove all waypoints before from the leg. Oh, we already had that typed in, hang on. There we go. Press execute to update your flight plan. And that'll just about cover the basics for today. My name's Plev. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if I've helped you out. Thanks for watching.